Hey y'all, thanks for watching this video. Remember to hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. And if you're not subscribed yet, hit that button and the notification button so you get all the videos that I got coming out because I'm working real hard for y'all and I hope you enjoy it and I hope you're entertained by it. And as always, I thank you humbly for your continued support. All right, so I'm gonna make this one quick. Because of the fact that Oob was revealed to have a bunch of God key inside of him, enough to help Goku defeat Moro in chapter 66, I'm already seeing some comments from people whom, as seems to be expected, have trouble understanding simple concepts like this. So I got this comment on my Geekdom 101 Facebook, and I've edited out the person's name because I don't want them to get attacked or anything like that or made fun of. But he wrote, you know this means you have to change your video about who's the strongest Boo. It turns out that Kid Boo really was the strongest at all, not Boo Han. And he wrote this all weird. Okay. It's just... Wow. Okay. Let's explain. So what this guy's saying is that because Kid Boo inherited the divine energy from the Grand Supreme Kai, as, as opposed to the Fat Majin Boo, who, by the way, at one time were one being, but seem to forget that part, that it automatically means that now Kid Boo is the strongest Majin Boo. First of all, if you want to debate the strongest Majin Boo between Boo Han and Kid Boo, you can have that debate without even using Dragon Ball Super, okay? That debate has been going on for years and years and years. It's still going on. You have every right to believe whatever you want to believe as far as which Majin Buu is the strongest. I did a video with Herms where we broke down several years ago which Buu is the strongest and how they differ from anime to manga. Feel free to watch that video if you haven't seen it yet because we broke it down as best as you could. And there's all kinds of different debaters and different YouTubers and people in the fandom who have their own sort of ideas about this and I respect all of them. But this right here, you got to use your head a little bit. First of all, Kid Buu and Buhan at one time were the same being. Kid Buu is the result of having all of the beings inside of Buhan extrapolated. So when Kid Buu had Fat Majin Buu inside of him as well as everybody else, he obviously had the Grand Supreme Kai there too, right? It's just that they never pulled him out. This isn't even anything new. This was discussed several chapters ago in Dragon Ball Super. This is nothing new. This was discussed in the Moro arc. That's number one. Number two, the idea that just because Kid Buu had God Key, let's just say that Kid Buu the entire time had God Key inside of him. Let's just say that he did that he did the whole time. There's no point in having God Key if you don't know how to utilize it. Kid Buu is a being that's purely savage and purely evil and never has been trained. He's never undergone training with an angel, with a user of God Key. So it doesn't matter how much God Key Kid Buu has, being the purest Majin Buu, he does not know how to utilize it, point blank. And it's explained in Dragon Ball Super that the split happened when Boo and Kid Boo split, not when Boo was originally created. I mean, this is just common sense stuff right here, bro. This is common sense Dragon Ball lore. And maybe you don't remember, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Everybody forgets things once in a while, including me. But I mean, I feel like sometimes people try, they try so hard to prove you wrong without thinking for two seconds and looking back for two seconds and realizing how dumb they sound. Like you sound dumb when you say things like this because you know who else has God Key? The Supreme Kai. Dende, being the Kami-sama, the God of Earth, he also has God Key. So what you're telling me is that because Dende and the Supreme Kai have God Key, that means they're more powerful than, I don't know, Piccolo? They're more powerful than Krillin? They're more powerful than anybody who doesn't have God Key? God Key does not automatically mean that you are more powerful than anybody else. You have to know how to utilize the God Key. You have to train, either you're doing the ritual that Goku did, training with Whis, or learning how to adapt your body to using God Key. So even if Kid Buu had tons of God Key, if he doesn't know how to train, it's not going to do him any good. Having tons of potential to have God Key inside of you or innate God Key means nothing. It's like having a gun with no bullets. What good will it do you? You see what I'm saying? So this idea that you're going to use this in a debate to try to prove that Kid Boo is more powerful is just ridiculous. It's dumb. It's, it's bad logic. It makes you look dumb and it makes the argument fall apart because even if you want to say Kid Boo is more powerful, which some have said respectfully, this is not, <laughs> this is the worst possible point you could possibly make with this. 
God key is something that has to be trained with and harnessed. Every being on earth has key. It's been explained numerous times in Dragon Ball, but if you don't know how to harness it, what good is it? Look what happened when Gohan trained Videl and other characters trained. A regular human can train and learn how to use key and become a powerful fighter. We've seen it in Dragon Ball several times. So what good is having God Key if you can't use it? Plus, like we talked about, Buhan and Kid Buu at one time were the same being because Kid Buu transformed as a result of Buhan having all of his victims or prisoners or whatever extrapolated. And it just so happened that the God Key stayed in Kid Buu as opposed to Fat Majin Buu. But what good is it if you can't use it? Come on, bro. It's a kid's show. This, ain't, this is not rocket science. Anyways, I wanted to drop this quick video to stop that bs out because again people seem to treat dragon ball like it's high chemistry when it's really not that difficult there's always some cool stuff in the series some beneath the surface culture that i love to talk about some deeper meanings but stuff like this man I i'm begging you and i've said this so many times for the past five years before you say something think for two seconds and try to debunk yourself before saying something and looking stupid especially when you try to make somebody else look bad it just it makes you look dumb, bro. Like, you look dumb when you say things like this, you know? With that being said, I will bring this video to a close. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. And remember to take care of yourself and each other.